Joining us, developing right now, a show of solidarity between faiths is happening at this hour at the Islamic Center in Olympia. The center was targeted with an explosive device last week. The gathering started just a short time ago, and our Cairo 7's Renji Sinha is tracking it and joins us from the live desk with details. And Renji, this attack was caught on camera. And Michelle, police in the community are hoping that video will help them catch the people involved in this incident. The explosive was dropped in front of the Islamic Center back on November 23rd and the Council on American Islamic Relations or CARE in Washington urged interfaith leaders to take a stand with the mosque after the incident. Now you're taking a live look once again at the gathering that started around 11.45 a.m. Several groups have joined in this effort including the American Muslim Empowerment Network. CARE has called for all mosques to be vigilant in the wake of this latest attack. Now, it was the evening of Tuesday, November 23rd, as I mentioned, when that explosive was dropped in front of the Islamic Center. The blast could be heard for miles, and the entire thing caught on camera. You can see the car pull up. Someone drops the device out of the car window. A short while later, it explodes. Nobody was hurt, but it did create fear in the community, fear that everyone is trying to come to terms with now. In uh, Olympia, and to you know, make sure that uh, they know that we have their back. Uh, many people from the interfaith community are here just to be here and support and stand up. And I think this is what this Olympia community is all about. Now, several leaders who are speaking at this gathering did address the current political climate where there has been anti-Islamic rhetoric. The incident follows a recent spike in attacks on houses of worship. Now, the media conference, or gathering, I should say, is meant to be a show of support for the whole community. You'll hear more from the conference at 1230 and on your news later today at Cairo 7 News starting at 5 p.m. That's the latest here at the Live Desk. Let's throw it back to you, Michelle. All right, Ranji.